a warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out, the football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. This, of course, the fixture to which we've been looking forward so very, very much and for so very, very long. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch is pristine, the crowd basking in the sun, smiles on faces, a really good omen for the game we hope. And there really are few places on earth quite like this. The grand cathedral of football that is the Giuseppe Miazza. Stitch running. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Well, I think Scamacca's first objective here, Peter, is to, to dominate the opposition defence. And being six foot five, that certainly helps his cause. If he's able to get his way and can become the, the focal point of the attack, and the main source of, of what they're bringing forward, then he could well turn out to be the match winner. OK, interesting. Let's pass a match. Good minus. That's a good foot in there. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. to the grateful arms of the keeper. Skamaka. Well, it seems as if the message has been issued by both managers, don't concede the opener. Climbs up big! Tom Brooks get his head on that, but couldn't score. Well, he certainly got to the ball well enough, but the rest didn't quite come off him. Well, that is one way to stop him. It's good movement we're getting from that front line, very flexible. Yeah, really easy on the eye too, yeah? Very much so. It adds more variety to their attack and, and asks more questions of, of that defence. Cat and mouse at its best. Proves too strong. Lovely bit of skill. Nice touch. Cross goes in. Great lead! And he's there to make a great save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. And that's a foul. A simple decision for the referee. Look, burn. 
chance! And it's half-time here. Well, there it is, half-time, not a bad watch by any means. And the efforts of both sides have been good, but neither have been able to penetrate. And so we reach the break, and the game remains goals. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. And that's the start of another 45 minutes. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone could step up and produce something a little more magical. Up to meet it! No, he couldn't get the direction he needed. Look, the defending wasn't too clever on that last chance. The cross had to be denied. Gagliardini. Now, who's going to be first to this? Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. And it's Pasalic. Great defending, strong and determined. Gagliatini. Lookman. And still we await the first breakthrough. Pasalic. It so, so gently. Could have been dangerous, but it came to nothing. Monza are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Coop Miners. And it's Pasalic. Kamaka. Lewis. Oh, great header! Now that was a full-blooded header. Lewis Muriel may have slightly misjudged the timing, but there was nothing wrong with the intent. Monza making another change here. Massive lead! And out to safety. Atalanta showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Rafael Toloi. Let's pass on it. Oh, no, no circumventing this opponent. And it's gone back to the keeper. Well, there's the clearance. That's it, we're going to get 30 minutes more. Yeah, neither side has anything to show for some splendid effort, and they certainly aren't showing any signs of easing off, so we remain optimistic. So a brief breather, and then extra time.
So our quest to find the winner continues. It's an inviting looking ball that. Coop minus. Skamaka. There will be a throw in. Pablo Mari. Extra time reaches half time. Well, we're still where we started, despite the best efforts of both parties. A game that has been at times exciting, often frustrating, unbearably tense. And the next 15 minutes will be the last chance for somebody to win it. And we're off for the final time. It's been cagey for this long. Will the last 15 minutes be any different? Real chance here! And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the efforts he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. He's shifting through the gears here. Now it's Pasalic. Spread out to the left. Gagliardini, chance to break, gets his pass away, that looks a cracking ball, and the finish! Oh, it's in! Finally, finally, finally! Well, I think there's a few trying to claim offside, but he looks to have been on, yeah, he was on. Sides, in fact, Monza take what looks to be a decisive lead. Well, look, Peter, I think, and that will.